Um, a native of Tokyo, a pianist, composer, and arranger, Yochi Uzeki received his bachelor's degree at Temple University in Philadelphia and his master's degree in the Sir Roland Hanna Award from Queens College, City University of New York. Yochi is a classically trained musician focused on jazz music and has recorded a number of groundbreaking historic sessions with Jamaluddin Takuma, Ornette Coleman, and many others, including Oliver Lake, Alex Blake, Dexter Wansell, and Norman Connors, to name just a few. His artistry of the ivory is extraordinary. He is a former faculty member in music at both York College, City University of New York, and Boston University. Yochi began making railroad images after he opened his Instagram account in July of 2015. He now has over 11,000 followers. Today, he will share his railroad photography from both the Western Hemisphere, including New York City, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and Chicago, as well as the Far East from all over Japan. Please join me in welcoming Yochi Uzeki. Thank you, Todd. How are you? Can you hear me? Good, yes. Great. Thanks, Todd. That was, that was great, great, great introduction. And um, uh, my name is Yoichi Uzeki. Yoichi, I'm here in Tokyo, staying in my parents' apartment. <laughs> well, actually, Kondo, I should say. And this is my room. It's been always like this. It's a little now. It's really, really tiny, small room here. It becomes like almost like a storage now. Anyway, so uh, I have I, before I begin, I have to I have to uh, correct one thing. I am not showing any photo from Philly and DC. I decided to take that out, take them out. So only showing in uh, New York City subway and other stuff from Japan. So uh, yeah, and um, stuff like this always happens, like, you know, five minutes behind the schedule, stuff like that always happens, jazz, jazz uh, festival. So I'm kind of used to it. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. So uh, I should just share the screen to start. Uh, the keynote, hold on, let me see. Just one second. All right, here we go. Okay, all right, here comes. All right, so here's my presentation. So two cities, two scenes, and two minds. Uh, this is this is me at, at the opening day at the Second Avenue subway in New York City. By the way, oops, what do I just do? Oh, here we go. All right. So there's three chapters I would like to do. The one, the first one is two cities. So just a pure comprising of the New York City subway and the Tokyo trains, or like a little outside of Tokyo too. And uh, I put in certain categories that are, you know, easy to easy to just compare. The two, uh, the second one is two scenes. I'm gonna show a bunch of uh, like countryside, rural scenes from Japan, as well as some New York City subway vintage cards, so that you can see something that's not urban or not new. And the third one, three miles. This is probably the hardest one I put together. I was gonna do more like jazz and, and some photography part, but the artistic part is really kind of similar, but it's it's really hard to tell in a certain like small category like this. But uh, I'll just uh, show you something I think. So here we go. Chapter one, the two cities. Uh, this is me at the original Shinkansen Zero series cab. Anyway. All right, so this is the first category is sky. The sky is so different in New York City and Tokyo. So here we go. This is all the New York City subway shots. And this is obviously a shuttle train crossing the Jamaica Bay and you see a jet blue, just uh, probably just took off to JFK. So here the sky is really clean, open, wide. Here's a Brooklyn shot and L train coming up the slope from uh, Sutter Avenue and then 
you know, approaching the quantity gap, or actually going the other way. Uh, Knazi bound, two L trains actually running back to back. And you see the three train on the top of the L train, but yet still you see clear sky really open. Again, this is a, a, bro a broader junction, little curb approaching, uh, the L trains approaching. You see the moon too. So this is the blue sky. Next one, this is a four train at 176th Street uh, during the sunset. I love the view here. I absolutely love this, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's not really visible like this anymore. I took this like a couple of years ago. So the skyline is changing constantly, especially in Bronx and uh, Queens. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's hard to see now, but you know, you see all, all the skylines and then nothing actually blocking the view back then. The next photo. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. I put this sky category. You see one, you know, a couple of shoes hanging, but this is in Corona, Queens and uh, right by the Mets Stadium. And uh, I was in a car and a friend of mine took me, well, she needed to fix her car. And I was riding with her, on my, you know, on our way to a rehearsal or something. And all of a sudden, there's a street like this. And I was stunned. And I put out the camera. And then luckily, I was able to catch some seven train right there. So I think this is kind of interesting. The next one. So this is two train shot at the Ganghi Road. And... Um, this again is on the sky category, but the other thing I just want to mention that there's a person on you know, on the right train, subway surfing. The subway surfer is not in Japan, really. I never seen anybody else surfing the subway or train in Japan. Probably because why? Because of, uh, there's a conductor riding the back of the train, not in the middle in Japan. So. If you ride somewhere like that, it's a conductor will get you. But that's I thought that's kind of interesting too. So I just put it in here. Oh, by, by the way, I've seen three or four guys riding subway surfing while I was taking shots. So that's a lot. Another two train shot in Bronx. This is from 233rd Street, looking down. But you see all the skyline. It's interestingly you Probably you can see it, uh, Hellgate Bridge here. And um, of course, uh, the city center, I guess it's not city center anymore, but I can't remember the new name. It's been it's been 14 months since I, I was, you know, I, I uh, came to Japan because, you know, because of my job performance and teaching stuff. Anyway, so see so clear sky. So I just kind of gave you a little idea how the New York City looks like. Here's a Japan, Japanese train. This is the KQ, the KQ Railway. Uh, this is near the Misakiguchi Station. This is the, like the last stop on the train. They actually cross almost a little small valley like this. But see, most of Japanese Tokyo trains are electrified, but they have overhead wires, not a third rail collection. So wires and the cables, all over the place like this. So the next one. Oh, uh, this is Enoden, the Enoshima Railroad, uh, running by the sea near uh, Shichiligahama Station. Uh, this is kind of uh, you know uh, what I view, but still, you see the cable is running over the streets. Next. This is K-State Railway. This is my one of my home home line. I always take k -Says. And this is a cross this train is crossing Edogawa River. And uh, this is actually pretty near where I actually grew up. And uh, you see a reflection, but you see the bridge is trust and uh trust bridge is kind of it's, it's I should say I, I shouldn't say it's a blocking view, but you know, trust bridge is always kind of you know, it's a bit, makes it harder to, you know, photograph. So the next one, 
this is Tobu Railway uh, coming from Hikifune Station, approaching Tokyo Skytree Station. There's a Tokyo Skytree right behind where I was standing, but, but the other side actually looks nicer from there. But you see, you know, all the beams and pillars and some, you know, highlights is fine, but it's kind of busy right above the trains. But, you know, it's it's nice like this still, but it's just like try to make a compa you know, compare comparison. This is the Keio line, but the Musashino line train is actually running to make an extended service and above the uh, above canal in Tokyo, and near Shiomi station. You see, uh, uh, or there's a park behind this uh, elevated structure. So that's a lighting facilities, you know, lights, lights are standing up. And then that's, that's how uh, the waterfront looks like in Japan, I mean, in Tokyo. Okay, so this is one of the sky. And it's, it's this huge cloud came out, and uh, I I was lucky to just catch this. But again, this is the cable running. It's all the all the wires, 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 right? Next. All right. So this is Chuo Line. In right in the middle of Tokyo, near uh, Idabashi Station, and um, they actually running by the. Uh, uh, the mode, uh, shoot, can't remember the term. Uh, I should say, uh, when you when you build the castle, you actually dig a huge canal to prevent from the enemies, and you probably get the ward. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this this section of trio lines they actually run by this and also uh during the springtime you see all the all the cherry blossom trees here too so it's famous but this i took this uh back in february i be, i believe so it wasn't that much but still winter in tokyo is cold but not really crazy cold we don't get much snow either so it looks like this this is this Tokaido Shinkansen crossing the Tama, Tamagawa River near um, uh, Musashi Kosugi Station. And uh, you see, this is a really recent shot. I took this almost a week ago. So you see you see the tree blossom trees blooming there behind the bridge. And um, yeah, the sky is open. But uh, I think that was a uh, yellow sand coming from China. In this this day, so it's it's kind of dark. It's it's crazy how much affecting in the sky, this color of the sky like this. All right, get back to uh New New York City subway shots, and I'd like to uh, emphasize on this particular time. This is this is under sky section, but uh, I just want to show something covering the sky. So it's almost like it's closed or underground. So this is Livonia Avenue, the air train stopping. And if I was able to capture both two trains, so that's the three, that's actually four train running. But it's supposed to be three, but the four trains kind of sometimes uh, make an extend, extended service. So both trains actually crossing each other. And then I was able to catch those two faces. So it's kind of interesting. There's a train running right above the train. Next one. This is inside Brook, uh, Brooklyn uh, Williamsburg Bridge. And I took from legend, legendary uh, uh, 42 train, I guess. It's right through a uh, rail fan window. And this is a J train, uh, 160 car coming up the hill. And then it's about to go down to, to uh, make it a way to Brooklyn. So this is the inside of the bridge. It's completely covered, but it still looks nice like this. Okay, another structure like this, kind of interesting. This is, uh, right at the West Eighth Avenue, Eighth Street, it's a New York, New York Aquarium Station, and uh, this is double deck almost, 
and the Q train driving line is running above the F, the cover line, like this, and make a nice little shades like this. Next one, this is a uh, Whitehall Street. And then this was a uh, uh, GO, that was a construction work. And the E train was actually terminating at Whitehall Street, White Hole Street South Square Station like this. And I thought it was really interesting to capture the train and uh, see a structure above the ceiling uh, the reflection and the pillars and of course like the shape of trucks and interest you know it's kind of interesting so here's a shot from Tokyo this is the OE Shinkansen depot and this is one of the main depots Tokaido Shinkansen has and one in Tokyo one in Hamamatsu and one in Osaka and this this one is actually well not the biggest one but still you you can see it all the, all the shinkansen train uh, is parking here and uh you see all the beams and you know pillars and and some apartment complex in back and also uh highways the shutoko highways so how busy this is busy but it's not uh this is not really uh uh residential area obviously this is more like really uh plants in, in some stretches stretches and some market as well so this is a little complex image of uh ko railway coming from sasazuka station making a way to the tunnel and uh, from sasazuka station to shinjuku which is last stop on the KO line, they go under underground. And before going underground, they actually have the slope like this. And uh and right side is KO line series eight thousand. And left one is actually Toei Subway, Shinjuku line, uh series ten six hundred. This is a recent recent shot as well. This is at the Yotsuya station. See, you know, it's a JR's uh Chuo local line right running right under the Marunochi subway line. And you see Marunochi subway line is a red one. There's the two trains uh above the truck, and then the one is a new one, it's called series two thousand, and the other one up front is called zero two series. That, that one's old and that's to be replaced in a few years and the one in the in the bottom uh this is actually uh uh jr east series e231 500 and this one used to be on yamanote line and they took another service and then replay transferred to uh this sobu and chuo local line All right, this is a shot I took at the Senju Depot for Hibiya subway line. And this depot is, well, right by the Sumida River and um, um, it's right next to a, a freight yard as well. And um, you see a bunch of pantographs and stuff like this. And then I kind of liked it. And um, again, this is like how busy, you know, above the train is. Uh, I think the last one from Tokyo for this category. This is a Tobu line, Tobu uh, Tojo line, Ikebukuro terminal station, and uh, took from right behind behind the bumper. And uh, this train is actually approaching the terminal and is making a way. And um, it's all both the, the gates to uh, prevent from. Uh, people people from falling into the tracks and it's also gates both sides create a nice little image and also uh, the signs it says the trains approaching on the right it says red the letters are red it says trains approaching the other one on the left left side green letters it says you can't board from this side so the left people 
getting off the train from left side and the other one is coming from right side. This is very uh, organized. Let's go to the next one. Oh, okay. So this is one of those, uh, this is how my, uh, my uh, neighborhood looks like and then this is this is pretty near where i i was actually born and i'm actually from, i'm sorry actually here and um uh keisei line takasago station the takasago station is one of the cases terminal station and one of the main stations that they has depot and uh, all the way trucks and, and actually the spreads and uh, Hokuso line and the Kanamachi line spreads from here, from, from main line. And then there's a certain time, actually, you, you can see four trains occupied all the station. And um, those four trains were, uh, were actually Keisei rail cars. And uh, all the 3,000. 3, and the left, very left, it's that one is actually three, three, uh, three I'm sorry, 3,700. And you see uh, the great crossing, the people just crossing with bicycle and some trucks and stuff like that. That's that's really east sorry, east part of Tokyo. I think that's interesting. And uh, this, of course, you can you can imagine the train runs like almost two minutes or three minutes. So these crossings are actually really really rough to cross. Once you miss a, miss miss a chance, you might actually end up just wait for like in thirty minutes. That's how crazy it is. But recent work, they tried to put an elevation, but uh, it's uh, it's not really doing well now. So I guess it's it's gonna look like this for a couple next two couple of decades or so. All right. So next chapter, I mean, uh, next next category, it says landmark. So this is the only Chicago train shot here. So it's so landmarks. It's really easy to capture landmarks in New York City. Obviously, if you if you capture the uh, Empire State Building or One World Trade Center, you can actually immediately tell. Okay, this is New York City. So here it is, like one one eighty third Street on the four train. Obviously, you see all the all the skyline background, and you can tell this isn't from New York City. Another four train shot. And this is at the one seventy street, and you can see a Yankee Stadium behind it as well. I love this angle actually at the four train and Mount Aiden Avenue. You can actually slight look up, and you can actually clearly see all the skylines go. I think recent work, I think people. I think that there's a building here. I'm not sure. I think the building on the right side, but uh, I hope it's not blocking the view yet. Okay, that's the next one. This, obviously, this shot is slightly old. I think it's from uh, 2016, uh, before the, before the, uh, uh, Long Island City got really so much building, building. And you can still see the, the Empire State Building from here. This is the uh, 46th Street, and um, yeah, it's, it's actually high risers rising back then, but still, nothing, nothing, nothing blocking Empire State Building. Uh, this is my one of my favorite stations to capture. This is Junction Boulevard on the Seven Train. And you see uh, again Empire State Building. So Empire State Building is iconic, of course, and, and easy to capture, and hopefully stays that way. But recently, you know, recent uh, developments and stuff start blocking those views. Just you know, it's always pros and cons. All right, so this is J Train, Jamaica Line, Chauncey Street. Uh, of course, again, as you see, uh, Empire City being far back, there's a slight angle to it. So it's, it's not hundred percent easy to catch here. All right. This is, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite shots. It's a close up of G train 
right at the Neptune Avenue and the cover line. It's supposed to be a F train stop here. And uh, I think one uh, one New Year's Day, as, as a couple of years ago, um, probably more than a couple of years ago, one New Year's Day, G was extended and it they, they set up the eight car sets for G train and send, send out to uh, Coney Island on the F train. So I was able to catch this. And you see, uh, again, Empire State Building fall back and G train, uh, 46 G train. Uh, this is the six train shot at the, I believe Westchester Square at the East Trimble Avenue. And um, I'm sorry, I, I guess that's wrong. It's, this is not right. Oh yes, this is Westchester Square, yes. And you see one wall tree and a far back and I'm um, making a little carve. This is of course like, you know, iconic uh, wall tree and tribute lights. Uh, I did a little ex long expo exposure shot. Since my gear is not fancy, I use Canon uh, SX, 740 HS. So basically compact digital camera. And um, if it gets darker, I have to go, I have to do this. I have to go for a long exposure. And this is one of those shots I like and um, slightly different from, uh, you know, other side, you know. Okay, this is, Another image from uh, image from uh, uh, Neptune Avenue on F train, the Colorado line, and it's, all the buildings actually get a lot of reflection from uh, sunset light, and uh, you see a little structure in the middle. I think it's building something. So I hope it's not too high to block this view. But and uh, yeah, I like this, uh, this little view here at the Neptune Avenue. I, I recommend. I have another shot coming up later. So, of course, New York City's uh, icon, one of the New York City's famous icons is actually a Statue of Liberty like this. And then Statue of Liberty is not easy to capture with subway, obviously. And I believe this is, la this is the only angle I can actually capture. But, you know, it's not really great. But still, there's a sunset light and then F train, and um, I was able to catch the full circle. Uh, by the way, this circle is hard to catch. I think one one twenty fifth the shadow speed is the best for the full circle on one sixty or one sixty trains. Uh, so it's it's it was really. Uh, challenging and I was able to just to do this. So I was lucky, I guess. Okay, here's a Japanese one uh, from Tokyo. Um, of course, the, one of the Tokyo's icons, landmarks is actually a uh, uh, sky tree. And this one's new, the sky tree, sky tree is new and it's been, it's been here for 10 years or so but I'd never been on top of it, only uh, hanging around in the bottom where there's a shopping mall there. So I just go there all the time, but not, not on the top of it. And uh, the sky tree is not too far from my, the place I, I'm here now, it's the place I am. And I, uh, during the pandemic, I, I used to just ride a bicycle and go there and do some like train shots and stuff. So this is near the OG station in the Kita ward or Kita city and um, the Shinkansen, the type um, a series E7 running through. They don't pick up the speed much here. So it's easy still, it's, it's easy to catch. Next one, uh, this is KC line crossing the Arakawa river near um, Horikiri Shoban. And obviously, Sky trees right, right there, as well as some high, uh, 
highways and some other buildings, some apartment complex too. This is from the little grid crossing right after coming up the tunnel near Oshiaga Station. And Oshiaga Station is the closest stop for uh, the SkyTree. And this is Keisei Line, but the Torre Asakusa Lines type uh, 5300 is actually visiting, make an extended service here. So you have to do a little slight look up and then I think the angle is sometimes hard because you get a lot of sunlight from uh, up front. So I guess you have to calculate the time. This one is one of the famous locations on Yamanote line. I tried to do a little night shot like this. And uh, this is Otsuka station, uh, one stop from Ikebukuro. Um, not really a major stop, but uh, still carry a lot of people. And also uh, you can actually transfer to uh, Toden, the Tokyo's uh, one of the two remaining streetcars. This is near um, Uraktro Station. It's right in the Tokyo, like heart of Tokyo, one stop from Tokyo Station. And you see a little building on the left that's called Tokyo International Forum. And this, this forum location used to be a Tokyo City Hall. And they moved to Shinjuku and they built this little huge, actually huge, gigantic building. And it's really spacious and real well designed. It's supposed to be like uh, bottom bottom of the ship. Use a little structure on the top, and that's that's supposed to be bottom of the ship. And um, I'm sure they spent a lot of money, but it's beautiful. So I tried to do a little reflection shot of uh, Shinkansen. Uh, this one's recent shot as well. This is uh, Kanda River and then Sob line or actually Chuo line, local service crossing. And also the red one is Maunochi line. And this is a, there's a famous, uh, famous bridge called Hijiri Bashi Bridge right behind Maunochi line train. They usually take the shot from there, but I will show you later though. But I tried to do the other way and it came out kind of nicely. Okay, so this is a this is shot from the other side. This is a famous one with Maunochi line and Chuo line and little tree blossom trees. So this is over Kandagawa, Kandagawa River. And Maunochi, when they built Maunochi line, it's really like almost 70 years ago. They uh, I think that's the that was probably that was the best way to cross the river. This is a Tobu line three two hundred. Limited Express Ryomo crossing Sumida River. So this Sumida River is uh, probably one, one of the major river in Tokyo, downtown Tokyo. And um, they, it's been always like this. They used to call Okawa means big river because that's the only river that's really big. And, you know, uh, people took hard time, you know, this hard, gives you a hard time to cross. So uh, there's a building on the left-hand side. That's, that's, I would say, it's one of the landmarks as well. This, that's actually headquarter of Asahi Beer. So that looks like beer, beer glass. Interesting. <laughs> so another major icon of Tokyo is Tokyo Tower. And the Tokyo Tower is, of course, famous. And if you, if you see image of Tokyo, the Tokyo Tower is always there. But it's really hard to catch with train again. So this is the only spot that's actually, you can actually catch Tokyo Tower and some trains. That's, uh, that's a Shinkansen train. So that, this is near Hamamatsucho station. This is an interesting uh, type of moored that's, that's almost like rubber tire operated running, almost like that's monorail, not monorail, but it's a different type of uh, transportation we have in Tokyo. 
and you see a bunch of stuff. And then this is probably the best view with sort of train in Tokyo. And you still see a Tokyo Tower and Rainbow Bridge and some of the buildings as well. Another image from Yuri Kamome. And you see the Fuji Television headquarters and the, some crazy world as well in, in Odaiba. So this is from Daiba Station. So lastly, uh, Mount Fuji is always iconic and then you can always see from Tokyo, even though it's like almost like 70, 60 miles away from Tokyo. And here's one and, uh, uh, right at the slope going up to uh, Sasazuka Station, leading up to Sasazuka Station on KO line. And you see clear sky. You can actually see Mount Fuji behind the train like this. So my, amazingly, the angle is actually amazingly straight. So I feel like almost set up, but you can clearly see the mountain like this. Here's the sunset shot from, from same location. And uh, this is beautiful. And then if you get nice sunset like this, you're lucky. Another image I was able to capture from with, uh, with Mount Fuji is this is Yokohama line. Uh, this is Kanagawa prefecture right next to Tokyo. A lot of people actually commute from there to Tokyo and Yokohama line train approaching uh, um, uh, I think that's uh, Kamoi station. It's in Yokohama city. This Shinkansen train is crossing the Sagami river. The Sagami river is actually east in Kam uh, 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 Kanagawa prefecture. And you see Mount Fuji there and behind actually below the bridge. Again, this is a similar angle, but this is a Toza line, Tozai line, subway line, and a near Myoden station. It's a Chiba prefecture, a little east part of Tokyo. So other one is Kanagawa is actually west part of Tokyo, and this one's east part of Tokyo. And you still you still see uh, Mount Fuji like this. So that's how big it is and how the really characteristic and really, really uh, drops my heart somehow. Okay, this is another another image from um, uh, Misakiguchi Station on the KQ line, just like the first one I saw. I show you. I showed you. And then mountains actually getting slightly red. That's only happening right after the sunset. So that's beautiful. Another image of Mount Fuji from O Okayama Station, and this is in Tokyo, and on. Um, a train, you see the Tokyo train, Oimachi line, and also a Meguro line. And this is, Oimachi, uh, Okayama station is actually a junction. You can transport all trains. This is from Enoshima, Enoshima Electric Railway. And um, see, this is the reason why actually this little small railroad actually survived. This, this railroad was actually about to about to uh, abandon, but the, this traffic saved saved the railroad because they couldn't move and it's heavy still. And you see all this Mount Fuji back there too. There's a variety of rail cars. So this is a this is an interesting point of Japanese railroad. Japanese railroads is actually really heavily connected each other. So one line goes to the other one. One company goes to the other company. So it's really, really complex. So this is the Kintetsu line in Osaka. I just put it here. So this is New York City's case. You see a bunch of trains. You see uh, R32, 160, 143, and, and one, uh, <clears throat> 179 as well. And then 140, uh, I'm sorry, R42 uh, as well. And that, this is the East New York Yard, obviously. So this is R32, 42, and 160. Three types of train used to run J train. Well, actually, 160 still runs. And I tried to take it all one, one frame. Another image of uh, East New York Yard. 
and this is this is from the train. So that's why it's showing the other way. And this is an example also uh, of branch two trains of R32 and 179. There's a one day, actually, actually two days of uh, service change, the J train extended to M train. This is actually where I live in New York City, it's a Ridgewood. So you see it's the first Avenue station and in Brooklyn is in the back. So, so this is of course a famous little slope leading to Hunters Point Avenue, the seven trains actually crossing the old, uh, the yard, the Sunnyside yard. And um, you see uh, Long Island Railroad cars parking there. Well, back then, I think they moved to somewhere. This is old, of course, you can, you know, some of you can tell. Uh, the Corona Yard, there's two types of train, one's 188 and this is one, uh, I'm sorry, R62 train. Another, another image of a little slightly uh, old, old image. Uh, the six train, uh, 42 six trains before transport to seven, seven train. All right. This is Coney Island Yard. Uh, not much variety here. All, all you see is actually 160 and uh, 60, uh, 68. But a bunch of trains parking. I think this is a weekend or something. Okay, here's the image of Tokyo. This is Nakameguro Station. This is a little junction that the Toyoko line and the uh, Kibiya subway line. So from left to right, the left one is Tokyo, so it's 5,000. The next one is Tokyo Metro. Um, Tokyo Metro, uh, 13,000, well actually, 13,000. And the last two is actually uh, 70,000 by Tobu Railway. The Tobu Railway is actually making an extended service to Nakameguro Station. They don't go any farther. This is actually, uh, this is a yard shot of uh, Tokyo Metro Hibiya Line near Takenotsuka Station on the Tobu Line. They couldn't find en enough land, so they actually made, a, made an another depot for Hibiya Line on the Tobu Line, which is, uh, which makes some connection uh, through service to it. This is near Shinkiba Station. Uh, you see three types of trains, three three trains here. This make this these are interesting. On the, above the top one, it's actually series two o five. They transported to Jakarta, Indonesia, but they used to run on the Ko line, and the second one, and right at the middle. That's uh, series 130, I'm, I'm sorry, 233, 7,000, I believe, for K, um, to, um, Saikyo line, but made an extended service to uh, Linkai line. So that's complex, really. The bottom one is Tokyo Metro series 10,000 for uh, Uraktra line. So those three different lines someone from the line, somewhere coming, coming from somewhere. Uh, this is the shot from Shinjuku looking at the Yoyogi station. The Yoyogi station is very close from Shinjuku. Um, this, is, this is again, a slightly old. You see old Yamanote line fleet, uh, E231, 5,500, and also uh, that's, Two line local service, two local service train, and one rapid service. This is near Nipoli Station. Uh, you see a KC line train above and two JR trains running. One's Joban line with green, and the other one is, I believe, this is a Kehin Tok line. Uh, the other one. This one is also uh, two uh, Tohoku line trains meeting each other and as well as Keisei line train. 
near Nippori Station. This is shot at the Ueno Station. This is a, almost like a double deck here. Uh, since the lower platform was actually originally built and then above one is that uh, they, they added later on. So those two, uh, I think the platform number 12, 11 and 10 are new. So that's why it looks like this, almost like above it, double deck at the Werner station. This is a little complex <clears throat> compressed image of uh, Oku train depot. And this depot is huge. You see a bunch of different types of trains. Also, you see a E257 for limited express service bottom, and also Shikishima luxury train parking there too. Also, you see a blue train, old, old blue train for Hokutosei. They are actually sitting there waiting. Okay. Let me see, this is Shinkansen yard. I'm actually running out of time now. So let me skip this to... Uh... Let's see. Uh... Yeah, this is the first time for me and I, too, I, I kind of talk too much sometimes, so I apologize in advance. Uh, let's see, let me go to a different... All right, so I'm showing you um, this sunset section and a bunch of sunset shot I have. This is a... Uh... Oh, <laughs> thanks, Scott. It's kind of interesting that all, all the messages popped in up on my screen. It's so nice of you guys. Uh, this is a Coney Island, of course, and um, I have several shots like this. Wonder Wheel, Reflection, and uh, of course, William Bog Bridge. It's always got nice, nice sunset like this. It's crazy. So I just want to mention, I just want to emphasize that the color, of the color of the sky is so much different from New York City and Tokyo. These are from New York City, of course. And then this is how I call uh, Williamsburg Bridge Henge because the sunset right, right middle of Williamsburg Bridge. This is Broadway Junction. The Broadway Junction gets nice sunset as well, like this. And winter time, certain date, you get sunlight like this before the sunset in the bridge. And it's really beautiful. I think sometime in February. So I was able to manage, I was able to catch this. Of course, this is from the train, the same, same, phenomenon, just a nice sunset time. I just did a little ex long exposure from the train through the window. Like this. So this is iconic Queensboro, Queensboro Plaza station. This is the, probably the best sunset I had in my neighborhood, Ridgewood. And this is uh, from uh, Freshman Road Station. So let's go to Japanese Sunset. This is the best one so far I got from Ichikawa Station, right next to uh, uh, Irigawa River, which means actually first stop from outside of Tokyo and Sobe Line. You see huge sun and um, I, I, uh, I was able to catch this during the... Uh, sure, yes, I will do that. Of course, Scott. I guess I'm good at it. Another image of uh, the same day and a sober rapid service E217 Tokyo bound. This is really near my house, near my actual parents' place. I'm, I'm, I'm here now. And this is uh, there's a sunset right between a bridge and um, you see a Jovan line, uh, E531 crossing bridge going out of Tokyo. 
this is the same line, Joban line, which I, I live on. And this is uh, right by the Ten, Ten Nodai station. And they get nice sunset as well. You get nice reflection. It's another image from the same stop. This is from the same line, but different station. This is from um, Kita Kogane station in the Chiba prefecture. Not too far from Tokyo though, still. And then you see Mount Fuji during the sunset. So this, the sunset in Tokyo is pretty much straight forward. It's like yellow, orange. We don't get much red and blue, purple colors much here in Tokyo. But I have a few here. This is a Keisei line right at the Edogawa River. Let's see. Uh... Oh yeah, this is a recent shot. It's a um, Tokyo monorail. I took this from uh, Haneda Airport, and um, you see a uh, canal <laughs> reflected, and you see a monorail is running. So this. All right. Let's go to uh, Buzz Eyes. I just want to show you a couple of those. So this is from airplane. I was on my way to Tokyo. You see an A train crossing the bay. The other one is the Tokyo station. It's a nice shot, night shot. So that's that's how Tokyo looks like in the night. And this is from um, uh, Hokutopia building. And you see a sky tree and Ogu depot. And you see a Shinkansen train in the right, right bottom. This is from um, Funabori Tower. And you see a sky tree and the little tr tray line on the left, left side, that's a train actually, that's Shinjuku subway line crossing the river, and then they run outside here. So let me show you this chapter two, the two, two scenes. Um, I'll show you a little, a couple of uh, rural shots. And this is from uh, Niigata Prefecture, right by uh, Ichigo Tazawa Station. We had heavy snow last year. It was really, really heavy. This is near Aizu Wakamatsu Station, the uh, Tadami Line. And this is a uh, uh, Bang Etsu Saisen Sign Line and uh, near Yamato Station. Uh, this is uh, Mount Fuji, the Sata Pass. And uh, I had to do a little uh, mountain hike in order to get this image. This is one of those like really famous location. That's an Okuoi Lake station. And there's a train running and there's a station right in the middle. You can actually get off there. Uh, this is my favorite recent shot. This is near Katsusa Minato in Chiba. And you see the water, that's Tokyo Bay. And of course, there's Mount Fuji back there. Let me skip to the uh, next one. Let's see. So the chapter three, uh, three I just going quick. Basically, I just I just want to I just want to emphasize, you know, all we need is practice you know, to get to be a great musician or a great photographer. So I, I've been working on some panning shot and some long exposure as well. So here's some panning shots. So this is New York City subway, L train near um, Atlantic Avenue. And there's a spot there. So I uh, like to just uh, do uh, try uh, some long uh, panning shot like this. Also uh, interesting, Panning shot of Manhattan Bridge. 
I tried once and it came out nice. And uh, I might just, I'd love to try it again at some point. And here's a couple honey shot from Tokyo. I mean, Japan. This is a E5 Shinkansen at the Nasu Shiobara station. This is one I posted on Instagram as well recently. This is uh, this is Joban line, but uh, this is Tokyo Metro. Sixteen thousand different type of uh, uh, panning. This is also a Keisei line crossing river with sun, you know, sunset, nice sunset light as well. All right, cool. So, uh, here's some long exposure shots like this. This here, the Oku Depot. And this is shuttle train as well. I tried this. All right, so uh, I just want to show you one more that make you smile. Of course, I'm, I'm you know, my job to make you guys happy or enjoy, make you guys enjoy. So the last one, here you go. <laughs> this is a little score shot. I was I was waiting for the street train to come and then all of a sudden squirrel just came into my frame and I just captured him. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, for me on the Instagram account, this is my full name, Yoichi Uzeki. Also, you can find me on Facebook. And I usually post my schedule while well, I'm not in United States now, but uh, posting the schedule on uh, Instagram or Facebook. So please join me. Thank oh, you so much. Was, that was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. We'll, uh, okay. we'll have a couple of questions for you right now, and then we'll, okay. we'll jump back to uh, Ian and Jonathan for questions. Uh, certainly, right. if anyone needs to take a break, please do. We will start our afternoon sessions on time at 1245 Central, uh, but we'll, we'll go through some questions right now just for uh, for a little housekeeping notes there. Um, and UHE, one, one that I have for you, and you, you hit on this a little bit, but how how does being a jazz musician, how does that affect your thinking about photography? Uh, probably, the major, probably the biggest one is not to imitate much mm -hmm. with others. Cause like, I just don't want to recreate anything. You know, I, I'm on the more like improvised part of jazz community. So, you know, only Coleman's a free jazz guy. So I uh, tend to do stuff like that as well. I do, I do mainstream as well, but you know, I just don't want to, if I see somebody, somebody else taking shots from the spot I, I want to be in, I usually just walk away and try to find another, another spot. And you each, we have a, a few questions. People curious what type of camera you use and what type of lenses you use. Uh, I only use this. This is the one. This is the one I use. Canon, like I said, SX740 HS. This has got nice little zoom here. This zoom is really strong. And I fix it and then post it. <laughs> That's the only camera I use. Mm. Well, another question I had yeah. is, is just thinking about the, the differences of photographing in New York and Tokyo. Um, what, is one city easier to photograph trains than another? And, and just how would you compare their, their two uh, rail transit systems? I, I would say New York City is easier only because <laughs> one's not many people shooting trains hmm. and uh, not many competitions. Also, uh, <laughs> more often spot in New York City. And the relationship between rail, rail phot photographer in Tokyo and a railroad company is pretty bad right now. They mm. they don't. Well, I can still do it. It's it's completely legal, and not no one's no one's gonna stop you. But they try to just to cover some parts, you know, like fence it off and stuff like that, and mm. make it harder to photograph phot phot in Tokyo. Mm. Now we understand that to the <laughs> Yeah. Um, we have a question from Jacob Adams. He's curious about what yeah. the difference between the the Tobu subway and the Tokyo Metro um, is. Uh, Tobu, both... Tobu, Tobu okay. Railway is actually one of the major major private railway in Tokyo, and they don't have any 
underground section. But Tobu Railway could not reach the Yamanote line, which is like major loop line in Tokyo. So they had the Tokyo Metro, or they used to call it different different name, the subway line, and they send send the train into subway line to reach the center of Tokyo. So a lot of private company in Japan, Tokyo especially, do that, you know, and Osaka as well. Mm -hmm. I just want to remind everyone that you can keep, send, yeah, keep yeah. sending your questions and through the Q&A function okay. um, in sele selecting that um, all panelists to make sure we're able to see it. Um, we'll take questions about Yuichi's presentation as well as Jonathan and Ian's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Yuichi, how how has the how has the pandemic affected Japanese railways? Uh, yeah, they uh, it's pretty bad now, because uh, well, you know, obviously they they kept running all trains all the time, and uh, even though they cut some 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 headways late at night and some during you know during the daytime, but still they lost a lot of money, and especially uh, JR East, which is the biggest company in the world right now uh, for railroad. They they they're going pretty bad now, and they uh, try to find another way to just to save some money. But mainly, though, I I just want to emphasize a lot of companies in Japan actually they get money from real estate, mm -hmm. not from train. Yeah, a lot of the stations like sell the air rights like above the stations for, yeah. for like shopping centers and stuff. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. huge now. Yeah, no, I was really struck by that when I when I lived in Japan and just how the how massive the stations were and they all have like these little little almost miniature cities inside every big train station. But you know that that idea is actually coming from indo urban, you know, twenties mm. in the United States. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Haley, any other questions for Yuichi? Um, let's see. I'm just coming. Um not for you. We just had one come in for Jonathan and Ian. Um, okay. Well, mostly it's them? a lot of comments saying how amazing his photography is. <laughs> well, thank you so oh. much. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, sure. well done. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, really. So nice of you no, guys. No, I, I only photographed in Tokyo a little bit. I lived in Hokkaido in Japan, so I only got to Tokyo. Oh, yeah, I, saw, I saw that. I saw your presentation, though. That was awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh, I did. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful experience, but we sure have been wanting to, to explore more of Tokyo's railways. Oh. And uh, we have, a, a for our in-person conferences, we do have a tradition of, of having live music at those. So maybe maybe someday <laughs> in the future, we could have you back to show more of your photographs and and uh, treat us to some piano as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you'd be willing. Take the train <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, no, we we could we could we could uh, give you as much time on the stage as you'd like. Then <laughs> <laughs> that'd be nice, really. Oh really. uh, well, yeah, no, we'd love that. Well, uh, Yoichi, thank you again, and uh, let's see. Well, I just want to thank Jonathan. you. I just thank you and, and you know Todd and Haley and all the member of uh, Center. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that, and it's that was really exciting. Or even though I couldn't do as much as I would I would do, but you know. Um, that was a really amazing experience for me, just to go through my old photography and try to put together some presentation like this. Hey, <laughs> thank you so much, Todd, <laughs> for recommendation. Truly amazing experience for me. A pleasure, Yaochi. Uh, look forward to seeing you soon when the pandemic's over. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll be back there. I'll let you know. <laughs>